Hey, thanks for tuning in to Motohead. Today we're going to be installing the Rottweiler Ceramic Pro Shift Kit. And, you know, to eliminate false neutrals, I'm thinking that'll do it. But you know what? My bike is running so good. <sighs> I haven't had any false neutrals in a long time. But, um, I, thought, I decided, what the heck? You know, it's going to make it smoother, make it faster. I'm going to try it. And then uh, I'll give some feedback later, maybe. Check in the comment section, and I'll post in there maybe um, how I got on with it. But how do we do this? Well, I removed the skid plate first. That's easy. Basically made a template. And I start with right here, number one, which is right there. You know, I removed the filter cover, radiator cover that I got. I put the screws right back in here. Okay. Now, I start with number one right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's where we're at. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I've loosened some of the, I've loosened it all up first. So before just removing them, I went around in a crisscross pattern and slightly loosened all the bolts first. And then I spun them a little bit more loose and then I removed the filter cover zip tied it put it in a baggie zip tied it out of the way fine okay come back over here i've got some of these loose i removed my passenger pegs you guys know how to do that so and then i've got three more screws i've got to pull this off out of the side off to the side so i can get this and get this out easy okay so back to this six you know i have a tether i tether my brake line and that goes right there and that bolt would go right there in the event it goes down, you know, it's not going to fold it back. All right, so we're not as likely, okay? So we're going to go to seven right here, right there, seven. And after that, I'm going to remove the rest of the brake lever assembly. So seven. Now I'm going to come up over here. Now I've already got these loose, okay? Got much better lighter going on this time guys so you know um hopefully uh you'll enjoy that better actually i'm gonna keep this there I'm gonna keep this there and then come up doesn't really matter but this when you put it back on you want some thread lock on it okay and that one's done That one's done. Now look, that's just going to hang there, right? But instead of just letting it hang, I want to I want to get it out of the way so I can get this kind of a straight on and off. Follow me. Now I've got these reusable zip ties, which I love. So let me see if I can find, you know, the right angle to get this. Now I may have to. Um, I may have to use maybe two zip ties to get it on. Okay, out of the way. See, I think that's going to work. But you know, I think this is going to work better. So if we go over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I can get that in and out. All right, so let's see if we can do the rest of these without any hang-ups. 30, 30 Torx, or 8 millimeter head, basically, is what we're using here. And then, uh, you know, this one's a little bit bigger. What's this one? This one is a T50. And then we also have a T40 for these. Okay. So T40, T50, T30 gets this whole thing off pretty much, or an 8 millimeter, and then the combination of what I just said. So back up to here. I kind of like to make my videos quick, so um, let's move right along and work at the same time. Now, this is number 8. Very important that you keep these things straight. So 8, 9, 10, 
11. Where did I screw up? I screwed up somewhere. I screwed up somewhere. Let's find it. what I did guys look I just removed nine and I didn't put this see that's why you do it okay see one's longer than the other see it's important that you do it so I'm trying to film and talk and chew gun at the same time you know I'm not perfect so that one I mean, like an eight millimeter fork because it's gonna slip in a little bit easier so this is 10 11 12 and that's why I number them too. Okay, and it's actually kind of nice that that happened. You know, I've had this off before and that didn't happen, but it shows you the importance of what I'm talking about. And you'll figure it out eventually, you know, guys will so I can do it, you know, but, um, and it's a little more time consuming. You gotta make the little template. But man, let me tell you, you, you make it and it'll save you a lot of time and grief. And it keeps track of all your screws. They're all right here. You don't have to worry about finding them, losing them. All right, so back to this deal. Now it's ready to pop off. All right, so I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to get these three bolts out of the way. I'm going to put them right here in my mat. All right, now I'm actually going to put that right over here too. Okay, I've got a couple of rags handy. I've got these handy. I've got this. I know it's going to drip. I already drained out the oil. Okay. So guys can do this without draining out the oil fine. You know, you're going to have to lean your bike way over and all that. Why not just drain it? I drain the oil into a clean pitcher container that I use for, for changing oil. And um, I'll pour it back in here. Okay, because I've only got 800 miles on the oil, but I want to put the part in. And I don't want to waste any oil. I don't want to change it with only 800 miles. So I take it out, and I'll put it back in. All right, so all the screws are gone. Left these in here again for the oil filter just to re iterate that and now this sh oh, look at that now this is gonna stay right there okay so I'm gonna get my part see look it dripped a little bit that's fine it's gonna come right off and I'm gonna show you that gasket is gonna be fine I have another gasket just in case but this one's gonna be fine you know so I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then be right back with the part because I want to thinking about removing this but I'm thinking also that I'll just leave it there and then I'll hold everything off to the side and zip tie it I'm not sure what I want to do yet okay so I decided to leave that line attached and I, I just lifted it straight off I swung it down here, I grabbed a few more towels, I removed that filter, put it down there, kind of cleaned up a little bit of the oil that was here, wiped down the gasket all the way around, okay, so I cleaned it up, okay. All I did, this is all attached, okay, I don't know if you can see that, but the plastic sensor cover right there is there, the cord's there. This is dangling, kind of, but I got it supported, the weight, so it's not totally you know, stretching the cord out. I just, I have it propped up there. I like taking things apart with the least amount that I have to take it apart with. So I did a little bit of figuring there, and now I'm back. So now, this is the lever that we want to replace. Right here. So, what am I going to do? 30 Torx. Come in here. And this is, this is held in with Loctite. So, what I'm going to have to do when I go put it back together is make sure that the threads are super clean. Okay. I want to take this out in one piece so you can see what's going on. Okay. Okay. So, there it is. What is that? Oh, that's just thread lock. Okay, so it's like this. That's how it is. It goes in like that. 
in this spring is basically resting on the bottom of this <clears throat> just like that so we're going to put the new one in and uh, what I'm going to do is clean up these threads grab the new part and uh, we'll be in business that's the original piece this bearing comes out no problem uh. <clears throat> okay there it is so we will get it all figured out but um, just like that Now you can learn with me. Like that. That was. We got it all on videotape anyways. So that's a good thing about taking stuff apart too, is you can always figure it out. Right? But that's how it goes. Bearing. And so this this is gonna be nice. So hopefully um I like it. Okay, hey, I was waiting for, I knew my package was out for delivery. So I started on the repair, and I was waiting for this. And it just showed up just a little bit ago. Oh yeah, that's right, I already opened up the sides, didn't I? Okay, so we have the center to do. Then I thought, you know what, why don't I just do an unboxing and let everybody know what's going on. So, um, there it is. Factory Pro Shift Kit. Ooh. All right. So let's see what we got here. Sweet, sweet. Okay, all that money. This is what it's all about. This big box, you know, and a couple little parts. It's supposed to be ceramic bearing. So, yeah, man, that's. A whole lot better. A little hole here wasn't there before. New spring. Let's see if I remember right. Uh, probably have to go over there. Yeah. All right. That's the way it's going to be. Like that. I'll get the bushing. I'll get the screw. Lock tight it. Put it in. And. Uh, Go from there. Okay. So here we are by the bike. And it goes like that. That's the original part. And this is the new part. Okay, so what we'll do is slide this screw out. Put this bearing back here. That. Okay, put this in like that. I'm going to use, I don't know what kind of Loctite they, they're calling for, but I'm using red. And I like this paste stuff. It, um, I like it. It's, it's easy, lasts a long time. I clean this hole out. You can use a pipe brush with some brake clean. Stick it in there. Make sure there's no lint or anything like that. And then I wiped off the general area, you know, with the brake clean too. So, give it my best shot at 
torque to 10 newton meters. And it goes in like that, and man, you know, my trusty, where is it? See, I just leave those tools in. You know, it's in there somewhere. Okay, if I need it. <laughs> okay, I don't even know, man, if this thing's gonna, gonna go in right away, man. I just got it in here. And it's easy turning. And I think it's working. Look at that. That was, you know, I expected it to be a fiddle. I really did. And, you know, I got my trusty old light. I don't know if you guys like it, but okay, see, look, it fit right in that groove. And I was watching that the whole time. Okay, it fit right there. See, and the gasket's good, man. Look, I got one. I got another one, but man, I think I can reuse this. And I'm all about reusing stuff if it works. Now, if it leaks a little bit, I'm not gonna like it. I'm gonna be tearing it back apart again, and that'd be the bummer part. But um, I've used, I've already taken this apart once to replace the clutch screens, springs right here underneath this plate, and there's, you can replace them with stiffer springs. I should have made a video, but I didn't. Okay. But make sure you know what the torque value is on this. I believe it was like seven or six, something like that. But look it up because it's crucial. And you know what? You don't need much torque on it. And I don't think you need any Loctite either. But anyways, back to this. There's the shift. It's there. Okay. Move my light around a little bit so you guys can get a good like, good idea of what it is. And I think it's 10 Newton meters, but I'm not positive. So um, I'm going to look it up, and before I run my torque wrench, I want to know exactly what that is. Okay, well, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the information. So I'm torquing it to 10 Newton meters. And um, if I find it, I'll, I'll note it in the comments section. But um, that's I'm real confident it's 10, and I can't remember where I read it. And I can't remember, so that's where I'm doing it, 10 Newton meters. So i verify one more time. Got my thread lock on there. And I'm I'm pretty confident, man. That's a it's a 10 millimeter screw, just like everything else over here. But check yourself, you know, before doing it. And uh, but anyways, it's in. Okay, pretty pretty stoked. She's working. That's your shift star right here. You know, for those that have heard about the shift star, doesn't know what it looks like. You know, okay, well, I'm going to slap this bad boy back together. Well, here we go. So, how do we do that? Well, very carefully. And you know what? Make sure I did want to tell you guys. The locating pins of the gasket right there and right there usually they stay in the engine but sometimes they come out with the case and you want to be mindful of that right after you take off this cover you kind of want to make sure that you find those pins and and deal with it uh, right away all right so here we go it's 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 a little bit of a fiddle. Don't force it. It's just okay. It's just and then it just goes. You know, look, see, it just goes. But you got it. You can't force it. You just gotta let it do its thing and 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 watch the little holes all the way around. Okay. 
something like that now I want to get a few of these um, screws in right and then here's the you know the original one original spring I'll keep that throw it in my part bug box of parts but uh, I'm gonna start with number one right there number 12 is right there okay and I want to get a couple of them in there just so that gasket doesn't you know real light real light so one and um, yeah see if this is 10 11 12 right so I'm gonna use 10 and it's just really light it's just enough to you know I kind of like them loose so everything can just kind of gel and then you know this one on the corner that looks like seven if it were it'd be eight nine ten right so let's take out seven just a little there we go okay so we got one there that fell out I'm gonna make a new template because that little writ so I'm going to verify that right now. A long screw needs to be right here. See? Yep. But I had a rip in this, you guys. I'm going to make a whole new template. So that I don't have anything like that. Okay. Alright, so I'm happy right now. They're there. Maybe one right here and then... So one, two, three, four. That would be four right here. Okay. So now, yeah, we can think about this too, right? So now I think I'm just going to go around and fill in the blanks. Okay, everything's torqued back to spec. Okay, case is basically 10 newton meters. And these are 6 newton meters. But anyways, look up your torque specs and get them all back together. I'm going to get this one part back on here. I'm going to put my skid plate back on. And tomorrow morning, after the Loctite of the ship kit lever cures, that's when I'm going to put in the oil. All right. Well, Hey, I took it out for a test hit, put everything back together, of course, you know, and put in uh, the oil and uh, fired it up this morning. And, uh, man, she she ran good before, you know, shifted good before, but I think it's just a tiny bit better. Is it leaps and bounds? Oh, my goodness. No, probably not. But I can tell a difference, and it shifts easier it seems like I can find neutral a little faster um, when I need it. I didn't get it to um, hit a false neutral. I hit the gears, you know, and I just couldn't get it to do it. But it was only 25 miles, so, you know, we're going to see how it goes. And uh, I'll, you know, update the video and comment on anything that should be negative or anything like that that I experienced. But um, overall, very happy. I tested, I um, looked at any potential, you know, leaks from the gasket that I reused. Nothing. So um, after 25 miles, I would feel something. I wiped it clean. I got break. I first 
you know, I, I cleaned it off with just a little degreaser, and then I used some brake clean, and then I wiped underneath there really clean. So I wanted to see if I get any, any oil uh, leaking past um, the gasket, and I, I just couldn't find any. 25 miles, it should have shown up by now. But, you know, I'll keep an eye on that too. Um, so far, I've taken this case off. Um, that was my second time. So, um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for tuning in, and uh, super appreciate it. So, hey, you know what? You can get the stainless steel one and not get the ceramic one, save you some money. It'd probably be just as good. And who knows how the ceramic is going to hold up over time. You know, I'll, I'll be the guinea pig, I guess. But um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching.